Hi, this is Todd with EsotericCarCare.com. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new film surface coat by Kamikaze Collection. Film surface coat by Kamikaze Collection. What this is, is a, um, a durable coating, glass coating designed specifically for paint protection film. Uh, until now, everybody was using just standard coatings uh, to put on top of paint protection film. In most cases, they worked pretty decent. Um, some products out there, you had to worry about uh, what kind of uh, solvents and things that they use on them, any discoloration uh, with the film. But now we don't have that to worry about now that Kamikaze has uh, worked on this formula. We've been testing this for quite some time, as with most products that we do here at Esoteric Car Care. We will work with it, work with the manufacturer, um, sign off on it, long before um, uh, introducing that to the public. And with us being the exclusive uh, distributor and importer in the United States for Kamikaze products, we work uh, really closely with them on uh, development uh, things. And this product has uh, turned out to be absolutely fantastic one to go along with their industry leading uh, line of glass coatings. Using this, it's gonna be really similar to how you use Miyabi Coat, ISM Coat, some of the other popular uh, coatings that they have. Uh, but we're gonna take you out in the shop here in a little bit, and we're gonna go over some specifics so that you can get the most out of it. Uh, but a couple things until then, you know, this is absolutely the slickest uh, type of coating that you're gonna find out there. We put it on, uh, once it just starts curing a little bit, you can put a towel uh, on it and it's gonna slide right off of the surface. So for those that like that nice slick finish, you're really gonna love um, how this works. And with cleanup of it, with that, that slick finish over top of the paint protection film, particularly on the front end where you get a lot of bugs and things of that nature, it's gonna clean off much, much easier. Um, and with uh, the film surface coat, you're gonna get very, very good durability out of it. You're gonna get 18 to 24 months, real similar than what you're gonna to get to the Miyabi coat. What we do here in the shop is if, if we're polishing a car and applying paint protection film, we will use this to apply to all of the film areas. Then we will switch over to a Miyabi coat or ISM coat, depending on what the customer is looking for, and we will apply that to all the, the painted surfaces. If you get a little overlap from one uh, to the other, it's no big deal. You get this on the paint. It's not going to uh, harm it in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but it is designed specifically for paint protection film application, and it's just something that the industry uh, has been looking for for a while. More and more detailers are doing both detailing and paint protection film uh, these days. So having something to be able to offer to your customers that's designed specifically for it and you know you're not having to worry about any kind of warranty issues with that paint protection film because you are uh, applying a product uh, that's designed particularly for it. And with this, you're going to be using the same kind of uh, uh, tools and products that you are with, say, Miyabi Coat. Uh, you're going to prep it uh, with, with something like a Gion Prep using your high quality uh, microfiber towels, applicators, and then the maintenance of it, you're gonna use something like uh, Kamikaze Overcoat that's designed specifically for maintaining coated finishes. So you can use this on Miyabi, on ISM, and now on the film surface coat. So having said that, let's go take a uh, walk out in the shop and we're going to uh, work on applying some of this to a car so you can see the specific details of how we go about getting the most out of our application. Now that we're out in the shop, we want to take a look at the process that goes into properly applying the surface film coat from Kamikaze. Today we happen to have a rare Porsche GT3 RS 4.0 that's been fully wrapped in paint protection film. I'm just doing the finishing touches on it right now. And behind that next up is a rare GT2 RS uh, that, that received a full wrap as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, go to the front end of the car here in just a moment. We're gonna walk you through the processes of what it takes to do it uh, correctly. You know, it's, again, it's very, very easy to use, but we wanna make sure and walk through all the steps just to make it as easy as possible uh, for you to understand how to do it yourself. We're going to start off by thoroughly cleaning the area that we're getting ready to coat. In this case, we're using Gion Prep it is a perfect solution for getting the surface very clean, making sure there's no residue uh, of anything else you might have been working with uh, on the car. And what you're gonna wanna do is be liberal, be generous with your application of Gion Prep. As a matter of fact, 
The way that we'll typically do it is we will spray it directly on the surface. We will wipe it down thoroughly, and then we will switch up to a secondary clean esoteric microfiber towel uh, and wipe it down one more time uh, just to ensure that we're getting it as clean as possible. And the reason you want to do this is to ensure that you get a good bond of the coating with the film or with the painted surfaces if you were doing just a regular uh, coating uh, on the surface. So once uh, we get done completely wiping it off, then we will be ready to start off with our film application. Okay, now that we have the surface completely clean and ready for coating, we're going to get our bottle ready for application. And what we do with it is we always make sure that we completely clean off the cap area of the bottle because if any of the coating has had an opportunity to dry around those threads, they will form tiny little glass crystals. And what that will do is scratch your car very badly in the process. So we want to make sure that that's completely clean. And once we have done that, uh, we're going to apply it to our applicator. In this case, we like to use pipettes. It's a little bit uh, cleaner setup. Uh, the bottle already has like a little dropper built into it that you can put it on that way as well, uh, whatever works out best for you. Uh, but we're going to get a good application uh, onto the uh, applicator block. And we're going to take a look at it and once again, make sure it doesn't have any uh, little crystals of uh, glass on there before we get started. Always stop and inspect your uh, applicator throughout the process to make sure that that's staying clean. If you notice anything on it, you can either flip it over or grab a fresh applicator. Uh, they're gonna be thrown away at the end anyhow. And as we're applying it, we're gonna to want to go in straight lines back and forth. And we wanna be very methodical how we're doing it. Don't just round it up at the edges. When you get uh, to a turning point, um, make a very deliberate sideways movement before you come back down the other way. Um, a little bit of product goes a long, long way. Um, you don't want so much product on your applicator that it starts to run. If that's the case, you're using too much product. Uh, also, when you're applying it, you're going to want to see a nice, even coverage. If it gets patchy or whatever, you might need to add a little bit more product. But the key here is getting uh, an even of a coverage as possible. So we come back with our crosshatch pattern very similar to the way we did our others, very deliberate padding that we're doing. There's really no need for overlapping one pass to the next. It's just a matter of getting that application uh, as even as you possibly can. If you look down, if you notice any areas that, that may uh, be a little bit thin in color compared to the others, you can apply a little bit more right on top of it. Uh, and typically what we're gonna do with coatings it's going to vary a little bit from time of the year. Uh, and when you get in the cooler months, you can go a little bit longer before you have to remove. In the warmer months or more humid conditions, you're going to want to do it a little bit more uh, quickly between application and removal. Uh, most of the time, we're going to do a section to two sections before we go into removal. So if we're starting off here on the hood, we would apply it to the hood and then apply it to the front bumper before we do our removal. And then we always do the top surfaces first so you're not accidentally leaning against an area that you had already done. So we'll do the hood, do the roof, do the um, rear deck lid if it's uh, got a regular trunk on it. And after you do the removal, then you can start on uh, the vertical surfaces at that time. But once again, getting a nice even coverage is the most important detail that we have here. Uh, and then uh, once that is done, let it sit for a couple minutes and then we'll go on to the removal process. Now that we've waited a couple minutes, we're ready to do our removal process and we're going to take two brand new towels. In this case, we're using our highest quality esoteric microfiber towels. And we're going to do two different colors. Uh, that way we've got one for our first wipe, we've got a second color for our secondary wipe so that we don't get it uh, mixed up. And during that first wipe, you should be getting rid of about 80% of the uh, residue from the coating that's on uh, the surface. And then that secondary wipe is going to get all the rest of it. And with uh, the surface film coating, we've found on the first wipe that doing it in more of a small circular pattern, uh, hardly any pressure whatsoever, is the best to get it removed. 
and then as we're coming back with our secondary wipe, um, we, we can do those depending on how the coating is feeling, uh, either in straight line motions like we normally do for regular coatings, or we can do it in circular patterns uh, at the same time. But the key here is to get everything removed from the surface and watch your adjacent panels because typically you've pushed them to the sides and you want to get that uh, removed as well. And uh, one other note about uh, doing a coatings or the surface uh, film coating to uh, paint protection film is that even with some of the newer films out there in the market today that have a uh, hydrophobic top coat to it, you still get benefit by adding the surface film coat because you're just adding another layer of uh, protection on there. So whether it's one of the newer style films, a little bit older style film, you're going to get a lot of benefit uh, by adding the uh, Kamikaze uh, surface film coat to it. Okay, now that we have finished our uh, application process, we're gonna go around uh, the entire car. We're gonna take a look at it closely uh, to make sure that we didn't push a little bit of coating off onto one area and not get it uh, completely wiped down. If you walk around and you notice any dark spots, those are areas that you didn't get all of it removed. And you wanna make sure and get that wiped up because if it's allowed to cure over the next day or two, you're not going to get that off. That's going to stay on as a dark spot unless you go in and machine polish it uh, off afterwards. Um, a few cautionary notes after we're finished up. One thing, you want to make sure and keep the vehicle dry for as long as you possibly can. Minimum time is 24 hours. But keep in mind, the glass coatings, they continue to cure over about a five-day period. So the longer you can keep it dry, the better. The longer that you can go before doing the first wash, the better. But minimum uh, 24 hours. Now, as far as the equipment that you were using, you know, just like we started off with our bottle by cleaning it uh, completely off before we start, we want to do the same thing when we end it up as well, because uh, you'll get a little bit of product around the edge. If it dries up there, it's going to turn into little glass shards that can scratch up your next job. Uh, on your towels, best bet just to take the towels that you, you use for removal, throw them in the trash. Could you um, immediately put them in water and wash them all? Um, yeah, you could, but do you really want to risk that on the next car? So just the cost of doing business, go through a couple of very nice towels. And the better quality towels that you use, um, it's going to save you in the, the long run because if you use an inferior towel, you could cause some marring when uh, you're removing it. Also, your suede applicators, anything that you use, go ahead and pitch those. Those are uh, a one-time use. So after we've finished it all up, We've cleaned up uh, our equipment, we've thrown away our towels and applicators, and we've gone around, we've thoroughly inspected it and made sure that there's no remaining residue on it, then we're good to just let it set for a while, preferably keep it uh, inside. Uh, you don't want it to sit outside uh, overnight, especially on the first uh, night, just in case there's any moisture uh, in the air, can that come back and get you uh, as water spots. So that is the complete process for out here. As you can see, it's a very simple process to uh, apply the surface film coating on here. Just make sure that you follow those steps and you can't go wrong. Okay, now that you've seen how we apply uh, the, the film surface coat by Kamikaze, you can see it's very, very easy to use. And once again, it's nice to have a product that's designed specifically for paint protection film. Um, but don't just take my word on how great the product is or how good or easy it is to use. Please go to our website, esotericarcare.com, go to the product page for film surface coat, read what reviews others have left behind, or if you've got some feedback that you'd like to share with others, we definitely appreciate you taking a, a few moments to do that. And after you're done watching our video here, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're constantly updating new videos on detailing tools, products, and techniques. So by subscribing, you'll get a notification every time we upload something new. Well, that's all for today. For esotericcarcare.com, Kamikaze Film Surface Coat, I'm Todd Cooperider. Thanks, and we'll see you again next time.